Just when I met Hans, I had a, a secured something I'd longed for for years. That was a little uh, ruin of a little house. It wasn't really a house, it was a stable. It had been a donkey stable at the turn of the century, almost bang on the heath in Willow Road. And uh, it was raining through the skylights, but it was absolute, absolutely wonderful. I mean, I, it, it was the sort of thing I was used to from my student days in Oxford, when I had a, a very rainy studio too, and a very primitive one. At least this one had a little loo. The Oxford one had a loo in the garden. And uh, so that was already progress. But it had only one cold tap uh, where we lived in Hampstead. And it was, it was really uh, very, very basic, but wonderful, really wonderful. Uh, because in those days, Hampstead was truly something like a little village. And one could stand in the middle of a road and talk to friends, um, and no harm would become you. Home for me is Hampstead and the heath and at the same time always always the rhine and the meadows on the rhine and the sky and uh, i must say that is right in the pit of one's stomach if you like or soul stomach and soul funny perhaps they're the same thing aren't they i think the older one gets the more conscious one becomes of this duality of where is home is it England, and especially Hampstead? Or is it, uh, does it lie on the banks of the Rhine? Everything is so very tangible, so very close within one.